What's up muscle car people? This is Brilliant Muscle Cars and we're bringing you phase two. You can see all the parts, most of the parts anyways, that are going into phase two. Let's review some. We got new tires because we got new race star rims. We're going with 17 by sevens in the front, 15 by tens in the back for their nice drag setup. I was too uh, chicken to go with 17 by fours in the front. We're also getting all new brakes all the way around. We're going with Pro Stop Evolution Series. They're drilled and slotted. Yes, I know the drill doesn't do anything, but it does look cool. We're going with the Power Stop Extreme Carbon Ceramic Z28 brake pads. We're going with this because what's on the car right now creates way too much brake dust. You can't even drive around the block after you clean the wheels and you have all this brake dust all around it. Pretty much bought the whole BMR catalog. We got the lower control arms. We got the tubular A-arm support on the car already. We already have the BMR K-member. So this goes along with that. Without the K-member, you can't use the uh, A-arm supports. Also, we have the BMR panhard bar and the um, upper rod panhard rod support. We got BMR, chassis brace, radiator sport. Again, this one you had to have a uh, K-member installed too. And I also have the radiator support in there. And then we have uh, upper A-arm from, from BMR. And this is the control arm relocation bracket. In this big box, is the BMR Extreme anti-roll bar in the back. It's mostly for drag applications, also some street use. Since we don't daily drive this thing, it will be all right. We want it to go fast in a straight line and not kill us or run over any crowds like most Mustangs. Uh, we also have the BMR front radiator support. This is supposed to drop like 10, 15 pounds, and this is still pretty beefy. So pretty happy with that. It also has the the roll bar mounts, which I don't know if I'm going to use those or not, but we'll see. Um, bought this new used, I guess, a guy bought it and didn't use it. Right. So, also have the BMR upper uh, A-arm bracket with an A-arm. This, this adjustable A-arm is pretty good. I'm not going to use it because it has the bushing. I got a sweet deal on the other one I bought, and then it's all bearings, so it's going to even better by the time I'm all done phase two I'm probably gonna hate to drive the car because it's gonna drive like crap it's gonna drive harsh the ride's gonna be a lot rougher maybe phase five will be air ride to uh, lighten the suspension and make it ride even better we'll see probably not though let's take a little closer look at the tires we're gonna use we're gonna the front be, be a good wrench G4 Sport Cops. Got them from Summit Racing. Those should be pretty good. And then also the Meek Thompson Street RTs. ET Street. So can't wait to get those on. Hopefully by the end of the week, those will be on. I also, so to mount those with the 15 inch race stars you have to do a relocation bracket for the anti-sway bar it's going to cause me to do some cutting and stuff but that's the only way it will fit but the race stars fit 15s over the brakes where some of the other ones you have to go 17s that's why that's one reason i chose them and they were super cheap so that's phase two if you've made it this far in the video hit like and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you get all the new updates on phase two when they come out there's going to be lots of videos so if you got a fast muscle car let me know and bring it you already said that i